wish I realized sooner how much a positive mindset affected literally every single thing in your life. But I'm only 23, so I guess better now than later. Positivity to me is not about being happy all the time, but it's about seeing the best in every situation. I just think life is so much better when you see the good side in everything. You don't stress so much about the little things and I just feel like you live so much more. It would be so easy for me to sit here and say, yeah, I've been like this my whole life. It just comes so naturally to me, which is definitely not the case. So let's pop home, rewind, and I'm gonna show you how my mindset has changed coming from some of my lowest times when I've been growing up. I've had a very good life, all 23 years of it so far. I have been so lucky to grow up in a home with food, safety, a great family, but the first time I remember feeling low was age nine. This is when I remember starting to be bullied and I always thought I was doing something wrong and that I was bringing it on myself. This lasted until 10 years ago. I went to high school and I lost all my friends and I actually still don't really know why. That is definitely the loneliest I've ever felt. The way my eyebrows were so small is actually not a joke. And I swear to you, I did not even own an eyebrow pencil. So I didn't fill them in for months. I'm so lucky they've actually grown back though because that was severely overplucked. Not one of my finest looks, I must admit. <laughs> Fast forward to my GCSE years, which were fine. I had a good group of friends, I was doing well in my subjects, but still very much experiencing the growing up and trying to figure it out stages. Summer of 2017 was when I finished my GCSEs and I was depressed and the lowest I've ever been, which continued with many highs and many lows throughout with my A-levels. Five years ago, I left school and I did an apprenticeship, which to be honest, it really wasn't great. And I ended up getting ill from stress. In 2022, I moved to Manchester after being made redundant a couple of times in different nine to five jobs with COVID. And I now have a job I absolutely love and I just genuinely feel so positive day to day because of the things I've done to change my mindset. So you've now seen some examples of how I haven't always been quite so positive in my life, but what's the secret? What do I do now that I didn't used to do, which has now changed my mindset? Of course, and as expected, there was never a day I woke up and suddenly I had this massively positive mindset. It was little changes every single day and kind of training my brain to think a little bit differently. So the next four things I'm gonna share are the little tips and tricks that I've done and that I continue to do most days to ensure that I keep up the positive mindset. So hopefully, if you want the mindset too, then these will be easy enough for you to implement. I want you to try this, okay? When you're next walking, or people watching, or I usually do it from the tram, is I want you to give everyone you see a compliment. Just in your head, you have to say it out loud to everyone. It might be, Oh, I love your jacket or oh, I love your hair. It looks so nice. Literally anything. And I swear it makes you feel so good because you're giving out the positive vibes literally just in your head and it gets your own positive vibes flowing. The other day, I was stuck in a taxi for 45 minutes compared to the usual 15 minute journey it should take. I actually ended up missing my train, which I could have very easily been, and past me would definitely have been, frustrated for the rest of the day, annoyed for the rest of the day, that's messed everything up, but there was obviously literally absolutely nothing I could do. But instead, I was sat in the taxi, very consciously thinking, what am I grateful for? I'm grateful that I'm safe in a taxi. And it was all good, you know? It's a very, it was a very, very first wheel problem, so 
it really wasn't that big of a deal and I got the next train. But you don't have to wait until you're in a situation like that to express gratitude. I used to also write five things I'm grateful for every single morning. You might be grateful for your alarm clock for waking you up. It can be anything. I do seriously, seriously believe the more grateful you are, the better your life is, without a doubt. There's a saying that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. You become to share their values, their habits, the way they act, they speak, they think. Of course you're gonna be influenced by them. I do feel so lucky to be surrounded by the people that I am. The five people closest to me, they're very kind, very caring, they respect themselves, they respect others and hopefully I bring some good habits to them as well. But if you're in a position where you're not currently surrounded by the five people that you feel like have the values and have the mindset that you wanna have, then I think the first step to fixing that is to realize that and is to recognize that it's something that you wanna change. And the second step I guess is well, how do you change it? Join different clubs or like going to different networking things to do with your career and just find like those common interests. I feel like that's a really, really good way to start. Along with spending time with people, we of course, as humans in this day and age, tend to spend a lot of time on social media. I've been trying to more consciously follow people who I either see myself in or who I want to be inspired by and I want to take on their way of thinking. On reflection, in 2024, I definitely love to consume more self-development content. So at least when I'm spending time on my phone, I know I'm hopefully able to take away something after the scroll that I can then implement in my life. A couple of my favorite creators are Tam Kerr. She's got some really, really great self-growth content. Um, and of course, my friend Megan Short. Um, but if you have any other recommendations, please let me know because I'd love to follow some more people who can bring some more positivity to my feeds. Positivity is very relative to your own circumstances, your own situation. And obviously it looks very, very different for every single person. And it might come naturally to you. I mean, it definitely didn't for me, but it might do. But hopefully with the little tips and tricks I've given you, that will definitely help. To be honest, I didn't realize how much my mindset had shifted until I went on my friend Meg's podcast just a couple of months ago. Do you think you have quite a positive outlook or is um, that something that you feel like you actively work on? I feel like I actively work on it. Life is short. That's kind of a, a thing I think about quite regularly. So just trying to, like, I just, I'm just like, why be negative? Like, mm. if you've got the opportunity to be positive, like... Like, your day's gonna be so much better. And it's not always been like that, don't get me wrong. But I think in the last maybe year, I'd say I've really been trying to work on it. But it's also unrealistic to think that you can be positive all day, every single day, because in reality, of course, there's negative stuff happening all the time, you know? And I do think that processing the negative things can be just as important as trying to see the positive side in it. My final thought to leave you with is that life is far too short to not enjoy it being as positive as possible. And you know my thoughts on the 4,000 week analogy. Bye. <laughs>